Hi, I'm Adam from DoingAdrama.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a cool 3D landscape from a 2D image. I've just taken this um, image of this landscape from the internet and I'm just going to open it in Photoshop and um, the first thing you need to do is to create um, three layers of on the image and I've just simply just used the select tool just to cut it out and as you can see we have the background layer, the middle layer and the foreground layer. Now I've done this before and I cut out this sky and the mount far far mountain and made five images and I thought that might be a really cool effect but I turned it turned out it was quite difficult to manipulate and it didn't look very effective. So I'd suggest starting with just three layers just to get the hang of what you're doing and to figure out how to do it. And when you've done that, make sure you have a transparent background on your image and then just with the one layer selected, save it as a PNG file and then select the other layer and save that as a PNG file and so on and so forth until you have three PNG files of the three different layers. Now we need to import those into After Effects. Do that, I'm just going to click in this area here and then you just select your three images that you want to import and open them and they'll end up here. To create your composition, I'm just going to create one that's the same size as these images just for simplicity, of course. Landscape. And let's check the dimensions. Yep, the dimensions are the same, and it's a square pixel aspect ratio, so they should match up. When I've done that, I'm just going to select these three layers from the library and then drag them onto the composition. There we have our three layers in perfect harmony there. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to scale them up a little bit. And to do that, with all these three layers selected in the timeline, I'm going to hit the S key on the keyboard to open up the scale parameter. I'm just going to scale it up to about 150-ish percent. There we go. And I'm just going to move that around a little bit. And then we need to add a camera to get the sort of cool 3D effect going on. And to do, to add a camera, we just click on layers, which are new, and then camera. I'm just going to set this as a 35 milliliter, milliliter, millimeter camera, and make sure enable depth of field is enabled, then click OK. And the first thing we need to do when using a camera is to make sure that these layers are 3D layers, because a camera will only work on 3D layers. I'll just click this. Nothing's happening because there are no 3D layers, so the camera tool won't do anything. So to make these layers 3D, make sure that you've selected the three layers, then click on Layer and 3D Layer. As you can see, I, because I've moved the camera, it's already sort of put them out of place. Here we go. Let's try and put them back into place. It's about right. Now the next thing that we need to do is because if you noticed as we spin this round it doesn't look very 3D and snazzy yet. So we need to change the positions of the images in the Z axis. To do this we're going to select the three layers in the timeline and hit the P key this time which will open up the position. And as you can see we now we have the usual X and Y but we also have a Z um, parameter Make sure you've only got one of them selected. I'm just going to, so that's the mountain in the middle. I'm just going to move the foreground layer up so it's on the front. And I'm just going to put that as minus 100. And I'm going to leave the middle one at zero and put the one behind it at 100. And as you might have, might have noticed, the foreground image seemed to just come close zoom in and the background image seemed to get smaller. This is because it is now, the background is now further away and the foreground image is now closer. Now you might want to just move the images separately just to get them sort of back in shot a little bit and position them where you want them to be positioned. And then when you've sort of got an idea of where you want them, select the camera tool and uh, using the unified camera tool to move it around you can sort of see we've got this cool 3D effect going on. Now we're going to animate this I'm just going to give you a few little tips on how to animate this. 
With the camera selected, press P again to open up the position and then click the little stopwatch icon here to set a keyframe. This will set a keyframe at the start of the composition. Now I'm just going to just zoom in a bit and sort of move the camera around to a good starting position. You just take a bit of time with this until you've got everything as you want it to be. Now I'm going to move to the end of the composition and I'm going to move it again and just zoom out. Make sure that you don't you don't have any of these areas here where the image isn't on filling the composition again. And there we have it. We should have our cool little oh, beginning. There's kind of there we go. And I'm just going to do a preview of this. I've noticed it takes it seems to take longer than usual to preview the composition when doing this effect. I think it's due to the fact it's got a, sort of a lot of image, it's sort of PNG image file in it, which makes it more difficult to render. And it's a bit more processor intensive. Here we go. Here we have our cool 3D sort of landscape there. I've been Adam from DudeNoDrama.com and I've just shown you how to make a 3D landscape from a 2D image.